We are on the Sabine River, what's called the Sandbar Trail. For somebody who's never been to East Texas, this river is a good way to see what's over here. This river just gives access to big chunks of uh, remote East Texas that are very stereotypical of, of what this east edge of the state has to offer. It's a bit of a drive from a lot of the state, but it's certainly uh, worth it when you get here. I love to be outdoors, and this is a great way to experience the outdoors, especially in this part of Texas. A lot of good water, and the, the paddling's great. It's a good way to spend the day. The sandbars are quite unique. It's one of the reasons I really enjoy this sandbar trail. It's beautiful, and they change each time we come down it because of the height of the river. Sometimes they're very tall, and sometimes not so much. Today, they're really pretty. I think it would be a great place to camp sometime. The river is not a, a fast river. There's no class two waters. This is a river anybody can paddle. Yeah, I like being out in nature, and, and you see a lot of wildlife on the river banks when it's quiet. The unique thing about this is the sandbars, of course, but also that it's a good current. You can make the trip without too much effort. This is really my first river trip. It's really nice to just have space like this in Texas. Whenever you come out here and you're used to being in a city, um, it's, it's really quiet. You don't see any people. We maybe had one or two boats come past us. For Texas, it's a fairly unique river as far as having all the sandbars, all the sand, almost like a snowy river. Just beautiful. Part of being on the river is the tranquility. This is, for lack of a better term, a very zen thing. It's really, really, really hard to get stressed out out here. There's just no stress. And so that's uh, what most of us, I think, are looking for in our life. Less stress, more tranquility. Remote East Texas and time on Sabine River, it certainly meets those criteria. <laughs>